The Namer is an Israeli armoured personnel carrier that utilises the chassis of the Merkava Mark IV tank. Developed and assembled by the Israeli Ordnance Corps, the Namer entered service with the Israel Defence Forces in limited numbers from the end of 2008. However, as of 2014, only a small quantity of Namers were in active service with the Israel Defence Forces, and the introduction of a vehicle has been slow due to budgetary constraints. This has resulted in the IDF relying on the M113 armoured personnel carriers for an extended period. Please note that the information regarding the current status of the Namer and its service with the Israel Defence Forces may have changed since the latest available update. All my information is based on information in the public domain. The Namer has a length of 7.5 metres, a width of 3.8 metres, and a height of 2 metres. These dimensions provide the Namer with a substantial footprint, allowing for the accommodation of crew members and infantrymen, as well as the necessary equipment and systems. The vehicle's size contributes to its ability to navigate various terrains and provide a stable platform for operations and transportation in challenging environments. The Namer is highly capable of manoeuvring through challenging terrains and is powered by the Teledyne Continental of EDS 1790R 1200hp V12 air-cooled diesel engine, which is also used in the Merkava Mark III tank. The Namer has an operational range of approximately 500 km which is equal to 310 miles, allowing for sustained operations and mobility over long distances without frequent refueling. It is powered by a robust engine that enables it to reach a maximum speed of 81 km per hour, which is equal to 50 miles per hour. This speed capability enhances the Namer's agility and responsiveness on the battlefield enabling it to keep up with other armoured vehicles and swiftly manoeuvre to carry out its missions. It has the capacity to transport up to 10 fully equipped infantrymen and two crew members, along with the ability to accommodate one or two stretchers and medical equipment in the Namer ambulance version. The rear entrance of the original Merkava Mark IV was redesigned to feature a wider door ramp with a sniper port, while the roof of the Namer is elevated compared to the hull roof of the Merkava. Additionally, the Namer is equipped with a digital battlefield management system, which it shares with the Merkava Mark IV, providing it with hunter-killer team capabilities. These features contribute to the Namer's effectiveness in supporting and transporting troops in combat situations. The armoured personnel carrier Namer is specifically designed with a focus on survivability and quick repair capabilities. It incorporates modular armour and a V-hull pelly armour pack to enhance its protection levels. The exact details of the armour composition are classified, but it is reported to be a composite matrix of laminated ceramic steel nickel alloy, reinforced with reactive armour. The slope modular design further enhances its defensive capabilities. It is rumoured to provide Stanag level 6 protection all around, which is a high level of protection against various threats. In 2015, the Israeli Defense Ministry stated that the Namer is considered the most protected armored combat vehicle in the world, which was demonstrated during combat operations in Operation Protective Edge, where it effectively countered multiple threats. As a result, the Israeli military plans to introduce more Namers into their fleet over the next decade, gradually replacing the existing M113 armored personnel carriers. Starting from 2016, some of the Namers are planned to be equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System, further enhancing their defensive capabilities against anti-tank missiles and rockets. Overall, the Namers' advanced protection features and its track record in combat operations make it a highly resilient and capable armoured vehicle for the Israeli military. The Namer is equipped with a variety of armament options to enhance its combat capabilities. It can be armed with either an M2 Browning machine gun or a Mark 19 grenade launcher, both mounted on a Samson remote-controlled weapon station, RCWS. Additionally, it features a 7.62mm FN mag machine gun and a 60mm mortar. The vehicle is also equipped with smoke grenade launchers to provide smoke cover when needed. In July 2017, 
the Israeli Defense Ministry released a video showcasing an infantry fighting vehicle version of the Neymar fitted with an unmanned turret, armed with a 30mm cannon. This turret is also equipped with a trophy active protection system, which adds an additional layer of defense against anti-tank threats. The introduction of the infantry fighting vehicle version with the unmanned turret enhances the firepower and response capabilities of infantry units, particularly in urban combat scenarios. Furthermore, in December 2018, the Israeli Defense Ministry released another video demonstrating the infantry fighting vehicle version of the Neymar launching two spike MR missiles from a pod that can be raised and lowered from the turret roof. This installation allows Israel Defense Forces soldiers to launch missiles from within the protected vehicle, significantly extending the attack range and increasing the vehicle's versatility. The automated launch pod is also planned to be fitted to the turret of the Aiton, further expanding the capabilities of Israeli armored forces. These armament enhancements make the Neymar a formidable combat vehicle, providing increased firepower and flexibility for the Israeli military in various operational scenarios. Neymar's participating in Operation Protective Edge demonstrated their exceptional survivability and protection capabilities. Despite not being equipped with active and soft protection systems during the time, the vehicles sustained multiple hits from rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank guided missiles, including direct hits from 9M133 Cornet, a TG Miz, without any armor penetration or injuries to the crew. This highlights the effectiveness of the Namer's armor in withstanding heavy attacks and providing a high level of protection for the occupants. In one notable incident, a half-ton to a ton of explosives detonated near a Namer, causing a nearby house to collapse on the armored personnel carrier. Remarkably, the Namer remained undamaged, and the soldiers inside continued their mission without any adverse effects. This further exemplifies the robust construction and resilience of the Neymar, allowing it to withstand significant blasts and continue operations without compromising the safety of the crew. The successful performance of the Neymar in such challenging combat situations underscores its reputation as a highly protected and survivable armoured vehicle. It serves as a testament to the design and engineering efforts put into creating a robust platform that ensures the safety and effectiveness of the Israeli soldiers during intense operational engagements. The Israeli Defense Forces have designated the Neymar for distribution to infantry and combat engineering forces. The vehicle has seen operational deployment, including two Neymars from the Golani Brigade participating in the Gaza War. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.